Hey everyone, it's Chef Christine and Chef Dennis. Tonight we're going to make a roasted potato salad with a fresh herb, Dijon, and balsamic dressing. So, got some nice ingredients for you. We're gonna roast these potatoes with some of the fresh garlic here. I'm dumping this in here to say that we did. It's going to go on a roasting pan. All right. Adding salt. How much salt? Enough. Until it looks right or to your standard. Exactly. Whatever you like, you use that amount of salt. Salt can always be adjusted. This is a really good olive oil from Trader Joe's. And that part's the easy part. That's going in there. The rest of it's easy too. This is going into the oven. And we're going to be back shortly. We're going to show you how to make the dressing and the vegetables and get it ready for dinner. Hi, this is Chef Dennis, and we're back. We're going to do the sauteing part of this. I have a pan on. I'm going to add some avocado oil. Let's get the onions going first. Julian red onion. This is one large onion that's cut into julienne strips. If you're unsure how to do that, you can watch our onion video. Sizzle. A little bit of sizzle. A little bit. We're going to be adjusting it up and down at various points because we want them to semi caramelize. A little bit more avocado oil to this to make sure that it's staying dry. Now what I like about this potato salad is, and you'll see if this works, but once it's done, this can be served warm or cold. So it's perfect for a picnic or cookout in the summer, but you can also serve it well in the fall or even in spring when things start coming out and have it a little bit um, warm and makes a nice side dish for just about anything or by itself. We're going to do right now is speed this up a little bit so that you can see it working. We'd like to see if we'd like you to be able to see it the way it is changing the pan. So you'll see the camera speed up. You'll see the uh, onion slowly caramel, uh, quickly caramelize actually. Slowly, quickly. Pretty, pretty fast. So anyhow, you're seeing that right now. It's probably, I would say this is probably going to take about. 10 minutes, but when you, and that, that's in real time. In your time, it's going to be much quicker. So I'm going to do the onions, and probably about three quarters of the way through, I will add the fresh herbs, and you'll get to see that. I also have some, I also have some lettuce here. It's locally grown. Isn't it purple kale? Okay. Yes, Absolutely. that looks a lot like the um, red red butter lettuce we bought the other day. Yeah. So that is that that is cut pepinot and uh, stripped, and it needs to break down. It's a little coarse as kale can be sometimes. So we are going to cook that and try to soften it up. We will also add a nice touch to the salad. I always have some type of greens in it, and then. We have some artichoke hearts. These are not marinated. You can use marinated if you'd like, but these are not marinated. And for the fresh herbs, you got a combination of fresh rosemary, fresh thyme, and fresh sage. Um, this smells so good right now between the onions and potatoes roasting and the scent of these cut fresh herbs.
Okay, we're going to start adding other ingredients. This is uh, caramelized somewhat, not overly dark, but enough for the potato salad. If you like to let it go a little bit longer, you can. It all depends on how you like things. I've run into people who like things slightly caramelized, others that like them really caramelized, but that will work right about there. Just so you can look at them before I add anything else. There you go. So I'm going to go to the next step, which is going to be to add the fresh herbs to them. We'll activate there. And the next part I'm going to do is add the kale. Because I want to break that kale down. If it was a milder green, I wouldn't worry quite as much about it. But I want to make sure it is soft enough. Add a little bit more oil here. I'm just going to keep stirring. Salt. Salt as you go. And I'm going to add some more dried oregano. Potatoes before roasting. But I like the flavor. Funny thing with purple vegetables, you'll see a lot of purple beans, purple okra, uh, purple, oh god, just about everything with purple kale. What we find is a lot of times when it cooks, it'll turn fully green. So we're anxious to see what happens with this. Regardless, it's going to taste amazing. Oh yeah, it's going to be really good. But uh, you can hear it cracking almost like popcorn. Hear that? You probably can. Trademark sizzle. So, it. We're gonna add some water to this, just to let the make sure we get everything off the bottom, but also to get the green and the right, with the right texture. And we're gonna steam. If I was using fresh, like fresh spinach, it would go in like the last 15 seconds. It might actually go in when I pull this off the fire because the fresh spinach will just break down uh, immediately. It will wilt. in here. I probably will pour a little bit of that off just because I, I don't want it to be too watery when I mix, mix it in. But right there is about where I want it. And then we shortly we'll be coming back and showing you the potatoes when they come out of the oven, what they look like, and mixing this with the potatoes and the dressing. Put the Finishing whole thing together up. and show you what we're having for dinner. Absolutely. Hey everybody, we're back and we're gonna make the dressing right now. Uh, true to form, we like to use a lot of ingredients, even for a simple dressing. I've got a Primal Kitchen Paleo Brown Mustard. We'll put that in there. We're gonna round that out with some German mustard. You don't need to use two mustards if you don't want to. Sometimes we do. But you're looking at probably about a quarter of a cup there. Quarter of a cup, couple tablespoons worth. To that, we're adding a bit of organic maple syrup. We like to use maple syrup as a sweetener often. And you that means that you can use honey. You can use regular sugar. 
You can use any type of artificial sweetener if that's what if that's a dietary concern. Please go right ahead and use that. You want a little bit of sweetness to counteract the sour and the bitter from some of the things we're going to be adding. Um, to that, I'm adding olive oil. And we are going to do the magic emulsion. These whisk together and it holds the dressing. So you can see all three of those ingredients incorporate together. They're holding each other together. To that, we want to add a touch of salt. I am slicing a fresh lemon, picking out a couple little seeds. You can squeeze it like this if you can make sure that you don't get the little seeds in it. Or you can run it through a fine sieve. Oop. It happens. There's another thing for the reason for the sieve and everything, but exactly. that's why you get that stirred in a little bit. I'm going to add to that balsamic vinegar. Now, I'm going to go probably, I'd say that's about a third of a cup right there. Heavy balsamic as far as we want that taste. The now, rich balsamic vinegar, the balsamic vinegar uh, uh, de Modena is what you want to is what you want to get. This is a good one from Trader Joe's. And to balance it out, we're using a bit of red wine vinegar. Any vinegar you have is going to be just fine. You can vary things, just with the different types of vinegar, different types of ingredients like this. We just happen to like this combination. And you can so see that held those. together. Yes, we do love the combination. Say so that in rough honey. And this is what we have. And we'll be back. Okay, so we are finished the potatoes and put them in here. Make sure you get that oil off the corner there with all those herbs in it. Oh, really good. So I did drain the vegetables liquid a little tiny bit and let's add that. I just didn't want all the liquid but I wanted to make sure there was enough liquid to soften that kale. So that goes in the potato salad and I'm gonna we're gonna mix this together. Being a little bit gentle, try not to break the salad apart. So you get a lot of vegetables in there. We're going to let it down for a few minutes before we dress it, and then we will show you the final product. There's the dressing that's going to go into it, but I want to give it a couple minutes. See you in a few. Okay, it took about 15 to 20 minutes to cool down enough for me to put the dress on. I'm going to take our dressing. Just because we made this much doesn't mean that I'm just going to dump everything onto it because we're going to see how much it's going to need to take. I like to always reserve a little bit of that dressing for later. And I'll explain why in a second. I like to reserve some of the dressing. Just because it looks right now doesn't mean it's going to be right um, when it gets out of the refrigerator. Sometimes the potatoes, or if let's say you're using pasta, they absorb some of the flavors. And then you need to have the extra dressing just in case you need to finish it right at the end. Add more dressing. You always check for dressing level, you always check for salt levels, you always check for pepper levels. So that's what we like to do. I, right now, it's about what I think it should look like. Now, I'm going to move the dressing aside. It's 
put it into this dish, it'll probably help you see it a little bit better. Now this can be eaten warm if you like to eat warm, if you like them warm. And, but, but we usually serve them cold or at room temperature. But as I said earlier, you can serve it warm, cold, hot, whatever strikes your fancy, whatever is the season. We're going to be having this with a nice piece of salmon, very simple. Potato salad is really the star of this meal. So there we have it here. That's the roast potato salad that we've been working on and it's going to go in the refrigerator to cool off a little bit and we are going to be having this for dinner. Thank you for spending time with us and we will talk to you and we will have more videos quite soon. Stay tuned bye -bye. for tomorrow's video. It's one you're going to really enjoy. Ah, Something teaser, sweet. Teaser, Something teaser. sweet. There we go. Sounds good. Have a great night. Bye-bye.